How are we doing everyone? So today's video is going to be uh, cleaning the machine. So we will start with uh, if the tracks are quite bad. Um, clean the tracks out and then empty all the rubbish and give the cab a bit of a brush. And it's Saturday today and uh, I don't think I've cleaned the digger out. I haven't mean, cleaned the digger for about two weeks. Um, I prefer to. I like to. I like to clean quite often, to be honest. Keep it tidy. Oops. Oh, that's no good. A bit of a bit of fanter on the uh, on the floor. All right. Not to worry. Always keep a paintbrush in the cab. Handy for a little bit of a bit of a cleaning up. Amazing how much stuff builds up in here. Nice. I'll give the cab a good clean after once uh, once I've cleaned the machine. But yeah. See you in a bit. can tell on the camera but for my liking anyway the, the digger's a bit a bit dirty you see grease here um just the seal went and it's fitting uh well it's been going for it's been dripping for a couple of weeks but yesterday it was um it was pissing out oil so obviously it's see here i'll be bringing down um new ditching bucket but I'll put a, I'll probably do a video on that, comparing it to my old stripling one. So you can see the undercarriage is a bit well I've I've shoveled it out now. Um yeah it's a bit a bit nigging. Again, these here. The joys of working around uh, trees this end of this week. A bit of diesel spillage. Dust. Generally, once it was all there, put pressure wash, grease up, clean the cab, clean the windows, get it all looking there. 
looking much better for uh, for Monday's job. So you can't you can't really tell from here. It looks pretty clean, but then obviously when you go up to it, you know, speck of grease, undercarriage pipe, minging, counterweight. So I'll probably do the pressure washing on the on a. Um, uh, fast, oh, I'll come and be caught on. Um, think, think, think. Oh, mine's gone blank. Um, time lapse, that's the word I was looking for. Today is Saturday, I don't know if this video is going to go out tonight, but tomorrow, the 25th of April, is my birthday. Guess in the comments. How old I am. I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad I put my overalls on. So I'll just run you through what I've been using. So uh, first of all, I go round with a spray bottle. And in the spray bottle is G101, what the paper's clear. Um, what, I, what, what, I, what I did is filled uh, half with water and half with G101. So obviously then a good old pressure one as well with my... Uh, what about pressure washer? Which is available to hire, if anybody wants to hire it. And then once I've uh, give it a good rinse, good, good uh, rinse down, we go on to uh, a bit of TFR and the foam gun, and then give it a good brush, and then rinse off. As easy as that. So I've uh, pulled uh, the floor mat out. We just spray with some G101. Let that soak in. Give it a pressure wash and put it back in once I've finished cleaning the cab. Right then, as you can see, the digger's looking uh, pretty clean. So probably not the best, best clean I've done, but you know, it's clean enough. A bit of a shine through as well. Carriage. I'm even uh, clean the cab out. New air freshen it. Windows cleaned. I like to do, um, take pride in the uh, cleaning the digger and looking after it. At the end of the day, this digger is uh, it would, it's out pretty much every day and it's looking after me. Right, so I'll just run you through some of the, some of the uh, products I use to clean inside the cab. So, uh, first of all, again, a bit of a G101, just a bit of a spray. And a bit of a, a bit of a wipe down, and then once that's 
dry. We put a bit of uh, auto glim finish on, no, auto smart finish, sorry, and uh, it smells lovely. And there, uh, clean the windows. Well, it's only cheap and stuff, but it's good enough. And then I just, uh, I haven't used this before, but I just went for a little spin, a little, little uh, walk around the outside the digger. And just give that a little bit of a squirt and a wipe and yeah, let's give it a bit of a shine. Microfiber cloth. And blue roll for the windows. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'm hoping to... Uh, do a video. I bought a, a new bucket this week. It's um, a, a Rhinox ditching bucket. So I'll probably do a video comparing that to the old Strickland one. Um, there's also a video in the. Well, I should do it really, but it's there anyway. I've, I've made it. I just need to upload it to YouTube. Just uh, you're having a bit of a scrape on uh, someone's yard, uh, scraping up the grass and it revealed a lot of uh, nice gravel underneath so uh, that was a nice little job well it was part of, uh, part of the job I was on um, so nice little, that should be a nice little video so uh, and also I want to do a video with um, the robust struck flail head for the digger so uh, plenty of videos in the pipeline it's just finding a bit of time to uh, crack on and do it all anyway I hope you like watching the videos and uh, if, you, if you can give us a, a like um, and subscribe and uh, give us a comment thanks for watching i'll see you next time